Today we're going to be breaking down the final map of Vanguard. It's the last map of the Call of Duty Championships. LE Thieves versus Atlanta Phase, Tuscan Search, Game 7, and it's a good one. It goes all the way to Round 11, so let's get right into it. Round 1, we have Atlanta Phase starting on offense. As you can see, Alec, number 7 here, he's just shouldering mid. Uh, he's just checking for info. He's not actually challenging the mid heady. He just wants to see if anyone from LE Thieves pushes mid. On the other side, we have 6 and 8. They're going to be coordinating a team nade onto number 2 here. This is really important if they can hit their nades because if they can get that first blood with just their nades, it opens up the entire possibilities for the offense, specifically on Tuscan. You know, 4v3, a clean first blood. And, you know, the possibilities are endless on what you want to do at that point. So that's what they end up doing. They they hit the teammate on Draza. Envoy gets out mid. Alex sees that. So they do know that he's, he's mid. They don't know where uh, specifically. So they are just backing up. They don't really need to force issue at this point yet because they have the 4v3 with the first blood. And at this moment, they start to just spread out a little bit and a BZ falls off the map. So it's a clean trade for LATs because uh, he falls off the map, which is super unfortunate for Atlanta Phase because this could change the entire you know outcome of the entire game since it does go round 11 and they end up losing this round. And then on the other side of the map, you have Envoy who's, who's got onto the uh, Phase side of you without them knowing, you know, they, they know he's made, but they don't know if he could have gone well, he could have gone under fire, he could have gone either side you, he could have pushed the mid alley and is just, you know, hiding here behind the heady. So there are a lot of possibilities on where Envoy can be. And then Octane, who was top church, as you can see back here, he fills in the position that Draza gave up in case, you know, Atlanta Phase did want to just keep going towards A. And from here, Envoy does get a pick on Cell, who kind of overstayed his welcome a little bit. They didn't know that he was their side U, and number four and number number one can basically teamwork this at this point. Number one is kind of baiting for number four. You know, you see Octane sort of shooting some shots, and it's a blind spot for Cell once he's getting, you know, focused here by Octane. So what ends up, uh, that was a 4v3, it ends up turning into a 3v2 for LAT, and it, it's, it's a really unfortunate round for, for FaZe here. FaZe does end up getting a pick on Envoy, who probably should have been playing a little bit closer as teammates. You know, they didn't respect the fact that they could have been mid at this point. And he's just, he backs up at this certain moment, trying to look towards the bottom side church and just get picked. And at this point, it's a 2v2. And this is where teamwork comes into play. If you're holding hands, if you're doing something together, usually turns out to be something really good for your team. And number three and number one, teamwork, this guy, number seven at this point, you know, phase just splits up for one second. You see the, the distance between these guys as number one and number three collapse in the door. One slides forward to bait, the other one gets the kill, and then it's a 2v1. Uh, number five still has to plant bomb, so it's a clean round win for, for LAT. So moving into round two, LAT's first offense. They're going to start with a little spread here with a uh, little A pressure. And as you can see, number two is going to go to the tree and he's going to try and get number four out and onto bomb through the opposite side U. It's a little uh, A play that a lot of teams would try and do. This way, they're just doing a spread with Kenny left over towards maps and Octane uh, top fire. Only thing though is on the other side, you're going to have Atlanta pushing triple through maps. You know, this is another play that I talked about in the Tuscan strategy video, and they're just going to straight up bully Kenny here. Uh, unfortunately for LA Thieves, they don't know that that's coming, obviously, and it's a quick, quick triple push. And uh, by the time that, you know, Envoy is not even getting to their side, you, Atlanta Phase are already taking this entire side of the map. From here, they can go towards, you know, and, and flank the entire spawn. They can, you know, go top fire and just prevent the bomb plant, or, or at least if they plant the bomb, prevent any post plant, or even, you know, push out through well together and try and stop the plant that way. So there are so many possibilities for a phase at this point because they got that first blood and they're all hitting through the maps here. And uh, you'll see they do teamwork this. And you know what? They don't even do anything that I call. They wrap back together as a squad. This is good teamwork out of them. This was another option that they could have done. And it's just, you know, grouped up together with their core four here. They meet up with Alec, who is holding A. This is a good job by Alec, by the way, not, not dying. And just, you know, if they're going to triple out maps, you want to at least play safe towards A. So he's just playing behind this heady here. And he's just 
at least staying alive for his team and possibly getting info in case they do end up pushing through their side field. So they, they end up wrapping towards Alec and from here it's just teamwork out of Atlanta phase. They just pick up a part uh, LAT using their, their numbers and you see how much teamwork they're actually using. They're just staying together and getting shots on whoever meets them in their path. You know, it's, it's a bunch of 1v4s in this situation. Round three, Atlanta phase is on offense again. I believe they're setting up a little team nade here with number eight and number six. I believe they're team nading bottom church here, um, but I'm not too sure where they're actually nading. Uh, it's either bottom or top church. And then as you can see, uh, LA Thieves on the other side, they're going to be playing a standard spread. One side field, one covering you know the B push, one going out mid and one top church. Again, Envoy going out mid, Alec challenging this time onto mid because he has the help with the nades. And they're going to bring Bomb towards B in this situation. So they're going to group up together after a little bit into the round. And from here, number three is just, he sees them all coming and he's just trying to get shots and stay alive. He backs up here. Unfortunately, Cell is still watching through this window for anyone pushing up mid and Envoy does get picked up. And at the same time, while he gets that pick, they're going to be bullying out number three here. They, they know probably only one guy is playing on, to, on B side. And they do see that Octane is top church. As they did end up seeing him while Cell was challenging him uh, top fire here. So they end up just bullying number three out here. It's a 4v2 after they get this kill on number three. And from there, they just need to play with each other. And unfortunately, you know, Octane does go big. He gets the pick on the guy top bikes here and the guy planning. So it's a 2v2, kind of a scary one. Number six does win his one top church though here. This is a big one-on-one. -on -one. And from there, it's a 2v1. One guy's gonna go plan it. It's actually a sketchy 2v1 where Octane could somewhat get shots onto the bomb planner. Um, he, he does, but doesn't kill him. And at this point, it's just wraps with Alec flanking him uh, to end the round for phase. So round four is actually a really good round. Unfortunately, it gets spoiled at the end from the crowd but you do have Ellie Thieves going for a B commit here with one guy top fire. And you do have on the other side, FaZe going with a quad mid counter. So they're going to be wall banging and trying to back down Octane top fire here. And that's exactly what they do. They back him down. So Ellie Thieves goes and continues their B commit here through top radio. They get a kill, but it does end up getting traded out. And from there, uh, FaZe is going to try and play as a unit and play through well to maps and try and prevent the bomb being planted or at least retaking together and then on the other side la thieves they don't technically know that all the players went mid so they're going to try and take the back of the site and then start planning uh because technically they could have you know been playing field and wrapped around to back p2 here or through short so they want to just at least respect that before getting the bomb down uh but they don't know all of them are going to be coming map side so they get map side and now Atlanta phase gets the high ground on Thieves. So they can't plant the bomb really easily with this setup that FaZe has from, from this top radio high ground here. You know, Kenny and, and Octane are gonna be trying to look over uh, Draza here with bomb, but they're not gonna be able to get this bomb plant. So they, uh, the option for Draza to just go towards A and, and wrap that way to try and, you know, at least get the bomb down. You know, Kenny dies here trying to bait out a little bit. So they're just trying to buy time for Draza to get the bomb down towards A. Uh, this buys them a few seconds at least. And then Octane goes back Milk Truck here. He's just gonna try and play his life and try and play any rotators as a late lurk here. So Draza is gonna go and get the bomb down A and he wins a crucial 1v1 on a BZ here. So him winning that 1v1 is so big because you know here Atlanta phases break or retake is really disjointed at this point. You have one guy going and, and trying to chow the bomb and they're basically banking on him getting the kill on this guy bomb and then number eight is going to go top church and number five is going to go short and literally to know octane is still b here and he's going to play for any rotators towards short because he knows once the bomb is planted a that they're going to be starting to make their way in motion towards there so he gets the kill on number five here through short and then you also have Draza winning the 1v1 on the other side of the map. It becomes a 2v1. Octane goes top fire for the post plant. And this should be a cool, nice post plant for the Thieves. Unfortunately though, Cell backs him down out of top fire and then makes a really nice play, slide canceling him on the box here. It turns into a 1v1. He hops on bomb right away. 
Unfortunately, the crowd gives it away that he is on bomb, draws it, checks it, and LA Thieves wins the round. Moving on to round five, FaZe is gonna take this offense a bit slowly. They're just gonna spread for the most part at the start and then work mid towards the later of the round. And then as you can see, LA Thieves, they're gonna be trying to team shot here for any possible B push from FaZe. Uh, number five and number two actually see each other at the start of the round, so we'll get into that later in the round. But as you can see, FaZe, they're gonna be working mid together once you know, six and seven here are ready well. Number five is gonna to go to the mid heady. They're gonna now try and back off or even kill number one top church here. And number three and number four, they're gonna look for a possible push into maps uh, by team working it. Unfortunately for LA Thieves, you know, eight is watching it here. So they end up getting shots off, but they end up backing off and not trying to chow him straight away. While the rest of these guys work mid, they end up backing Octane down top church and they end up getting inside the bottom church of LA Thieves and from there they just teamwork it again they go back and this is just another mid-round decision they're gonna say let's work together go back towards you and see if we can kill this guy Draza who was at the start of the round outer here uh, for, because of the gunfight from number five so they end up teamworking Draza here and from this they they get the kill but number five also dies to, to Sam Octane, who had wrapped around to try and help, which is a good play out of them. And they get the bomb down. So it's a 3v3 bomb down. And number six, the bomb planner, ends up dying from top church here. So it's a really, really big pick for LA Thieves to get this bomb or this bomb planner killed right away because now it's a 3v2. And they know that at least one person was maps from the gunfights before. And they don't know where the last guy is. The last guy is bottom church here. So they're gonna work together and Envoy absolutely shits on number eight. Number uh, I, I don't know who that is, but he absolutely torches him. I don't know how he won this gunfight, but he wins the gunfight. It's a huge 1v1 because if eight can stay alive, he can then play top fire for the post plant. So I don't know how he wins this. I believe it's Cell. And then it's a 3v1 from there and they just go for the defuse and watch over him to get the round win. So round six here, LA Thieves is gonna go for the day one mid quick plant. So you don't really see that very often. Unfortunately for them, uh, FaZe is gonna go with the triple field side and it's basically a hard counter to this, unfortunately. So uh, Envoy does end up getting towards bomb and he, yo, he even peaks this little cut here but he doesn't see number five on the God Heady. So he ends up going for the plant Unfortunately for, for LAT here, he gets the bomb down, but number five can just, you know, push onto this side of you and kill number four on the bomb. Number six is now going to be watching over uh, once he sees that bomb goes down and he's going to get, uh, I believe it's number two here. So they get number two, they get number four, and from here it's just, a, it's a counter retake. So really nice play out of phase to basically completely counter this. Uh, quick mid hit by Ellie Thieves. So phase back on offense number six and number eight are gonna be trying to team nade number one top church here uh, And number seven again Alec is gonna be looking jiggling that mid ally to see if anyone pushes mid and that's exactly what thieves does They push to mid uh, Kenny's gonna be sitting at this milk truck here watching any possible B hit and Octane is again top church so there is a gap open for uh, thieves to hit here and that's exactly what they do so Envoy is going to go bottom fire here, and Draza is going to go mid to their side U. So, field is completely wide open at this point. I believe it's going to get picked up later by Alec, but he's only watching like the outer push. He's not really watching uh, the inner side U uh, to push that or to hold that. So, it's really a big gap for FaZe. And from here, Envoy is going to take some space as he sees no one's. Um, He's just going to be trying to teamwork actually with, with number two here. So he pushes up to mid alley, prones here to try and get anyone that could be at the mid heady or, uh, you know, could be holding field. So he's being patient. He gets a kill, but it does get trade out by Alec. Um, and unfortunately, though, for Alec, draws is there for the trade on him. So it's a 3v2, and Bomb is down in a really bad position for FaZe. Number one, Octane back here is looking for this well push, and it's a good play out of BZ who actually pushes through well, and if Octane thinks that he's gonna be pushing bottom church on him, he takes a reroute and goes to their side U and gets a really good timing on Draza here. So good play out of a BZ. He gets the kill on Draza. So it's a 2v2 now, bombs down in a really awkward position, and LE Thieves are gonna work together. Kenny actually jumps up top fire. You don't really see that every day. 
uh, but he ends up getting traded out with a huge kill from a BZ who just manages to get the good timing on Kenny top fire. From here, it's a 1v1, and I believe this is just an unfortunate timing, or, or actually just unfortunate spoiling out of the crowd here who, who starts yelling, I believe, while Octane goes for the defuse. It's possible he could have gotten it, but we'll never know, so FaZe wins this round. So it's another A hit out of LA Thieves here, 3A field. One is going to be playing back maps on the roof here. And again, for Atlanta phase, they're going to go with the quad mid hit. So Kenny actually gets really bad timing here. He even checks the mid push on this ledge, but he doesn't see anyone there. So number six is tucked away in this corner. Number five is behind the Jeep. So he doesn't see anyone and then just gets caught off guard. He doesn't respect the possibility of those mid positions. And then from there, Atlanta phase just retake together. They, they regroup and reset. All three of these guys are going to be hitting as a unit and they're going to catch Envoy with Bomb off guard. He was going to be trying to take some space through field. Unfortunately for him, all three of the Atlanta FaZe players are there. And again, more teamwork out of FaZe. They're going to group up once again, all four of them hitting through maps. They're just thinking, eh, if all four of us group together, there's no way that they clutch this 2v4. So they push through maps, go top fire, clear out, clutch here, and from here, you know, LA Thieves gets the plan off, but it, it's a 4v2 with, you know, a lot of teamwork going on. Number six and number seven are team working together, and number five and number eight are going to be team working together. Six and seven get the kill on Octane, and eight is going to get traded out for the last kill there. So phase back on offense, they're going to be doing a play that they did a lot throughout stage four, where they have Alec, Jiggle, uh, the mid alley, while the rest of the three guys go maps. Unfortunately for them, uh, LA Thieves does their standard spread, and it kind of counters this, so... They're going to have one guy B side, that's Kenny, one guy mid, one guy top church, one guy field. And from here, Envoy is going to be able to see them all cross into maps. So he knows it's a B push, so he tells his teammates. Kenny actually gets some shots off, but he stays alive. That's the biggest part. He stays alive. He doesn't die for his team. And from here, FaZe doesn't like what they see, so they rewrap towards A. The biggest part here is Draza's positioning. So he started out field. He was going towards church uh, while the B hit was happening. So once they rotate out, he's going to tape a really good gap uh, positioning here by pushing through field and to Atlanta's tree. So he's going to get there before they're able to actually rewrap 2A um, completely. So he gets the kill on Alec. It's a huge first blood. Um, I honestly think they probably sort of st started to help him a little bit more. You know, Envoy could have probably tried to cheat over towards A once he gets this kill. Um, but he, he ends up, you know, going to their side, you, and, and just trying to stay alive here. He, he gets some help from Octane here. Unfortunately, though, uh, number six is going to be able to get the kill on Draza before Octane is able to get the trade, or is able to get the kill on him, so it just gets traded out. From here, it's a 3v2, and Kenny actually dies in a huge 1v1 here. Probably a challenge he shouldn't have taken, but um, nevertheless, it is a 2v2. And it's a weird one because the positioning of the players, like look at how spread apart each player is from their teammate here. But in this case, you just want to be pushing out one side with your teammate. And that's what FaZe does. Uh, sell Chow's uh, maps here with the help from Simp. And they both get, or they get the kill and then they both wrap towards B. Unfortunately though, they get a bad timing on Envoy. He's going to get the kill on Cell. He knows the last guy planted. And here it's just a huge 1v1 and Envoy is able to win the 1v1. Probably the biggest 1v1 um, of his career, he wins it. We move on to round 10 here. LA Thieves going for some maps pressure while on the other side, FaZe is countering A a little bit here with two guys. And from here, LA Thieves is gonna be trying to work through uh, actually well here. So they end up not committing to the B push, but they're just gonna be trying to work through well to mid. And on the other side, FaZe tries to take some positioning by going to their side U and holding this god heady as well as holding this little box here to watch anyone that could be going towards U or towards well I should say. And from here they're going to try and back down number 6 from this box here. So they, they end up backing him down and trying to push up the well a little bit. He's still there so he's still taking a peek out of it but he wasn't holding it because number three actually is watching it directly with an AR as soon as he gives it up. And from there, Octane is going to be left alone out of here. He's going to be trying to pick off any stragglers uh, that could be fieldside or trying to push him and 
then trying to go top fire. And from here, the three Thieves guy is going to be trying to teamwork the one top church uh, phase player. So Draza actually ends up getting this kill. I believe four doesn't even get seen trying to push through under church. So eight has a lot of to worry about, but he does end up getting picked from Jaws, a huge pick. And on the other side, Octane is getting 2v1 by the, I believe it's the Tiny Terrors, number five simp and six Abizi. And he gets one while staying alive for his team. It's a huge one because he's getting 2v1, so he should lose this or at least get traded out. He wins the gunfight on simp and then uh, dies to number six, but number four is able to get the trade right away. So it's a, a 3v1 four thieves and they're just going to win it from there. So we move on to round 11. The tensions are rising. I actually just had to move my cam just because we're going to need to see the map it was covering before. And it's round 11. We see LA thieves going back to that same quick mid hit that they did a few rounds prior. And they're met with the same defense that phase countered it with, with the triple a side. So it's really cool to see LA Thieves try and pick this up because they see that no one goes out bottom mid. They just see, you know, one top church. So number two and number three, they play for a possible, you know, fast push through field here for for uh, Thieves. And, you know, Envoy doesn't even cross to bomb at this point. He says, you know, let's get the hell out of here. FaZe take the positioning and the gaps on the map because no one was field. And number two and three back up for the possibility of them pushing through fully through their spawn. And uh, number six actually ends up pushing and, and could have got killed by number two and number three here. He, he gets away with his life. And from here, it's still a 44, but FaZe has positioning on A. So LA Thieves, they're going to wrap towards the B side, make a good mid-round decision and do it together. So they push through to the B side of the map, get the bomb down. And from this, they uh, the FaZe actually leaves two guys A. They're gonna go and try and hit a pinch right away once they see nothing and they know that's possibility of B. Uh, number eight, Cell is just playing this corner here. He probably could have been a little bit more active, but he's just playing a little ratty corner to try and get anyone that could have been pushing through bikes or, or through this back alley. And Alec was playing back here to try and see any possible, you know, well to mid to bottom church push through that, that could have possibly happened. So LA Thieves from this just play super tight and together and it, it's a really good teamwork round out of them. You know, on the pinch here, FaZe could have probably teamworked a, uh, a little bit more together. Number six and number five are both coming from the same direction, and Abizi goes in without, you know, help from Simp yet. So he gets uh, killed by number one here, Octane watching the pinch, and without, you know, a quick trade by number five. So Octane able is able to play his life out here, and not get traded out by Simp. It's a huge kill. And meanwhile, number four, Envoy, sees Cell, gets some shots off, and backs him down. From this point, four LA Thieves members, they're all gonna basically rush towards this back P2 to try and kill Cell, who they saw in that back flower pot position. They get a kill on number seven, two, who Alec was playing back here, uh, and he was wrapping back for uh, B once that got planted. You know, they just teamwork both of those guys out. Last one alive is Simp. It's a 4v1 and they get the kill. LA Thieves are your world champions. So thank you guys for watching this little breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to be working on some more recaps and strategy stuff from all throughout this year now that uh, COD Champs is over.